Welcome to Fun Buzz. My name is Tog Badi Olatano. Today we will be looking at our favorite subject. What is your favorite subject? And how do you help your friends that need help with your favorite subject? Our friends at the Do You Know Corner are set to give us answers to these questions. And don't forget our other segment for today promises to be very interesting. Our interesting games and fashion and dances from across Nigeria. And at the Nutrition Corner, we will learn the right kind of food to eat. So you see, it's a loaded package. If you're ready to have fun, I'm set. Let's take off. My favorite subject is crystal religion knowledge. It is my favorite subject because it encourages me to know more about, so, about God. Apart from that, it, it enables me to focus more on God. And the Bible also concerns a lot of stories. Personally, I love reading stories. My favorite subject is mathematics. Mathematics is my favorite subject because, you know, mathematics contains a lot of calculation and personally I enjoy solving questions. Apart from that, it also enables me to think fast. Also, it helps me to solve difficult problems in life. My favorite subject is computer studies. And why I like computer studies is because of the practical aspect of it. You know, whenever our computer teachers come in and he asks us to go and to stay in the computer room and play on the computer and the system I always feel relaxed. My favorite subject is English language. English language is my favorite subject because it enables me to speak good English and not only that English language helps me to communicate with those of different languages around the world. My favorite subject is elementary science. Elementary science is my favorite subject because it helps me to know the world around me. Not only that, the knowledge of science can help people solve difficult problems in life. And I also learned that scientists invent it, so in future I may invent something. I call them by my side, I teach them some particles on elementary science. Well, I'll call them together and tell them stories from the Bible. You know, mathematics contains a lot of calculation. I'll call them to myself and solve questions together. I help them, I call them to together. I get a piece, a sheet of paper. I draw the keyboard there and teach them how to play. I encourage them to read novels. You know, when you read novels, it helps you speak Polish English. I'm the 
letra E. E for age. A G E age. A la tabi, B for B, B E L L B. Yes, you got it. B for B, B A L L B. I am the tabi, D for dog, D O G dog. Yes, you got it. D for dog, D O G dog. I am the tabi, E for egg, E G G egg. Yes, you got it. D for egg, E G G egg. A letter C, C for cat, C A T cat. Yes, you got it. C for cat, C A T cat. Welcome to your award-winning mathematics quiz program. What is the value of minus four x minus two x minus six x? That's correct. A step. Now, this is the show where we test intelligence and the wit of our students. Hello and welcome to Young Inventors. Nemeli Foma. You are welcome to Do You Know Corner of Fun Boss. And today we'll be discussing an interesting topic, and the topic is my favorite subject. I have with me my friends to discuss this topic with me. On my left is Abba, and Samuel, yeah, on my right is and Mama Emmanuel. Now let's get started. My first question goes to you, Isaac. Isaac, what's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is English language. Really? Can you tell us why? English language is my favorite subject because it enables me to speak good English. And not only that, English language helps me to communicate with those of different languages around the world. Thank you. Samuel, what's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is elementary science. Wow, can you tell us why? You see, elementary science helps me to know the world around me. And not only that, it helps me to solve <coughs> difficult problems in science. Thank you, Samuel. Now, and you, Sam Emmanuel. My favorite subject is mathematics. Can you tell us why? Mathematics is my favorite subject because, you know, mathematics contains a lot of calculation and personally I enjoy solving questions. Apart from that, it also helps me to think fast. Also, also it helps me to solve difficult problems in life. My favorite subject is Christian religion knowledge. Can you tell us why? It's my favorite subject because when it encourages me to know more about God, apart from that, it's it, en it enables me to focus more on God. The Bible also contains a lot of stories. Personally, I love reading stories. Now, let's go to the next question. Isaac, how do you help your friends that find your favorite subject difficult? I encourage them to read novels. You know, when you read novels, it helps you to speak polished English. Thank you. And you, Samuel? See, I, uh, I give them the workbook of elementary science and I help and I teach them how to do the practicals in it. I tell them some stories from the Bible. Thank you. Somewhere, was there, can you tell share with us an experience on when you were re recommended by a teacher because of brilliant performance in the, your favorite subjects? Yes, 
my teacher asked us to make a torchlight. So I did my own torchlight and I showed my teacher. So my teacher was very proud of me. Thank you. Can you tell us what you want to become in future? I like to become a scientist. A scientist. Can you tell us why? Because I like scientists because they use all their senses. I like to, and I like to do, use all my senses to invent things. There was a time when our school had a reading competition. I was asked to represent my class. Thank you, dear friends. Now we have come to the end of this segment. Hope you found all that you have said about my favorite subject very important. We promise to bring you another interesting topic next time. As for everyone here, it's bye-bye. Hello, friends. My name is David Drama. My name is Hugo Chimeraani. Keep, keep, keep watching from boss. Don't touch it. Don't touch that there. Keep, keep watching. watching. Here we come. Won't you like to join the fun boss? Pass. Let's all sing this song. Then it's fun. Here we come. Won't you like to join the fun boss? <laughs> My name is Victor Collins. The instrument I'm playing is a mount organ. It is playing when you use your mouse to pass the air through the hole. Then start pressing the key with your fingers. My music teacher taught me how to play it. I feel very, very happy. When I want to play it, you breathe, you take in good amount of air so as to sustain you when playing it. Then you start pressing the key and when you blow it, you start pressing the key with your fingers. My name is Collins Goodness. I'm a pupil from Kubu Private School and in Basic 3A. I'm here to present a story titled The Dancing Palm Tree. Once upon a time, Totos and his family find it very difficult to eat. Totos made a plan against hunger that he was going to find a very big and top palm tree. He did enter it and danced to the market. When he was going, he saw a very big and top palm tree. He digged it, then he entered into it and sang to the market. Palm tree danced. Dance to the market, dance, dance, dance to the market. When the man outside had the song, he told the trader that a very big and top and tree is coming. They told the man to shut up his mouth, that he did not know what he was saying, that he just wanted them to be fighting. So the man ran away, and when the Trader saw the palm tree. They ran. Totos came out of the palm tree holding a very big sack. He packed all the food and went home. On a fateful day, a man made a statue that sat down that was made of gum. He then stood upon another palm tree. When Totos came, all the traders ran except the statue. So Totos came there and told the statue that it should run unless he reclaimed. The statue did not talk and he did not run. So Totos kicked and slapped the statue and he saw us and two legs were going to the statue. He told the statue to leave him alone. The statue did not talk and he did not leave him alone. So he stayed there till morning. And when all the traders came, they saw that it was Totos that was stealing all their food and they stoned him to death. The moral lesson in my story is that we should not steal and we must take permission from others before the keyword does not belong to us. Thank you. Hello, 
Dada. Hi, Tolo. Good to see you. Dada, yes. I have a riddle for you. What riddle? Can you tell me that thing that we cook with and it makes us cry? What we cook with and it, it makes, makes us, us cry. cry. That is ginger. No, <laughs> right, right, no, ginger. no, 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 Dada. Uh oh. You just failed it, but I will give you another chance. Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I should have said Pepe. Yes, Pepe, 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 Tomo, Pepe, Pepe. 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 No, no, no. You got it wrong again. Why? Okay, I will give you the last chance. Oh no, I give up. I give up. No, 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 I give up. Try the last. Don't chance. know what to say again. I no, give up. Just keep trying. No, I give up. I give up. No, I give up. Try. I give up. I don't want to try again. I give up. I give up. I give up. Hello, Simi. Hello, Simi. You came in in the middle, at the middle of a riddle. Yes, Simi. You have to help me with the right answer. Okay, I'll try. Let's hear the riddle. What is that thing? That is so delicious when you eat it, but very painful to the eyes. Onion! <laughs> Correct, Simi. That's very smart of you. But, 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 Simi, how did you get the answer? I tried so many times, but I failed. Oh, there. Come on, Tomo. Don't feel like a failure. You were almost there. You just have to understand that you can't get the right answers to every question. All of the time. Oh, see me. What? I know something. This is What's that? See me. I know of, of, of snack we can prepare with onion. What snack, see me? What snack? The snack is called suya snack. What hmm. is suya? Suya is a kind of snack you prepare with your barbecue chicken or beef. And there is a mixture of raw vegetables on it. Uh, like what we have on the table, oh, what mixture of raw vegetables in the suya, like your lettuce, your onion, your cucumber, your carrots, but, 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 and then your tomatoes. But, but, but Simi, what, what do you call all these things on the suya that looks like fruits? What do those things give to the body? Uh -uh. What do they give to the body? They are not fruits. You mean all the vegetables on the suya? Uh -huh. They are all vegetables. Like what we have on the table, already mixed with the suya. Uh -huh. The cucumber, the lettuce, the carrots, the tomatoes. They are all vegetables and they supply your body with all the nutrients and vitamins that your body needs. Simi, is carrot a vegetable too? Yes. Carrot is a vegetable, it is not a fruit. When you eat carrot, it gives you vitamin A. And what is the function of vitamin A in the body? Do you know what it does for the body? No. It helps fight dandruffs and roundworms. Oh. So when you eat a whole lot of fresh carrot every day, your chances of contacting um, skin diseases like um, dandruffs, roundworms, is very very thin. Simi, what about tomato? What does it give to the body? Oh, tomato is also a, a, a vegetable and this vegetable gives you vitamin A. And what is the function of vitamin A in the body? It helps increase the immune system. What, what of cucumber? Cucumber, yes. Cucumber, I love cucumber. <laughs> cucumber is also a vegetable and it gives the body vitamin A. And what is the function of vitamin A in the body? It helps fight germs and it also helps your food digest easily. Oh, Simi, Simi, now I know that carrot and cucumber are, 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 are not fruits but vegetables. That's the point, Dada. <sighs> all these on the table, they're all vegetables and not fruits. You're doing well, Dada. <sighs> and all these vegetables gives us vitamins. That's the point, Tomo. That's all from the Nutrition Corner. Learn to eat a variety of vegetables to give you all of the nutrients and vitamins that your body needs, including vitamin A, C, D, and E. Don't forget, eat well, eat right, and keep the balance. See you next week with another interesting edition. Bye-bye.
that, my favorite subject is English. I love English language because it helps to build my vocabulary. What do you think? Okay, time up. Another interesting edition awaits you next week. So keep a date with us. And from everyone in the studio, it's bye bye. Sing.